Hey, what's up, everybody? I wanted to hop on here and do a quick review of the Hanai uh, three and a half cubic foot uh, chest freezer here. Kind of an unboxing. As you can see, I'm kind of starting to turn this little back area in my basement into a little like kind of pantry storage area. Already got the little mini fridge hooked up. We're going to put the uh, put the little chest freezer right next to it. Kind of have some extra storage for uh, for some frozen foods and some cold drinks down here in the basement. And uh, let's get this out of the box. I'll kind of give you my thoughts on how it's built and um, we'll go from there. All right, number one, it did lift straight up out of the out of the shipping box. And um, I did actually kind of grab it by the lid here. There are some handles here on the side. Uh, it does have it packed with these spacers to kind of keep the lid from bouncing in, in transport. We'll come here, we'll remove those. And then it looks like there's some scratch protection here on the whole, uh, on the whole freezer. I'm gonna have to spend some time kind of peeling all of this off. You can see scratch protection there down the side. Looks like there's also a film over here of plastic that I'm gonna have to pull off. Uh, so that'll be quite satisfying later. The uh, the cord is nice and tucked into here on the side. And uh, that's nice because if you ever want to store this long term, it actually has a spot for the cord to kind of tuck. Uh, nobody really designs these and thinks about long term storage. That was a nice little design touch that I saw. And then once we open it up, as you can see, it's kind of a deep chest freezer. It's got this little basket up top here for smaller stuff, but it's generally just one open uh, chest freezer. Now we close that, we back up here, get a size comparison with a standard mini fridge. Uh, this fridge up here is about, about my waist height, about my hip height. As you can see, that's about the same size as a standard mini fridge. Now, before I plug this in, I am going to let this sit for 24 hours. And the reason being is that anything that has any kind of refrigeration, be that an air conditioner, a freezer, a fridge, the compressor has oils in it that need to be circulated. And if this thing was on its side in a warehouse, if this thing was upside down on a UPS truck, you don't know how it was packed, how it was shipped. So what you wanna do is you wanna let, let it sit for 24 hours and then plug it in. If you do not, and you plug it in right away, you run the risk, if those oils are not in the right spot, you run the risk of burning out your compressor prematurely and you'll have to buy another one. So be patient, get it unpacked, get everything off the top of it and then let it sit, plug it in tomorrow. Now, as for the construction of this, uh, it is an all metal, or at least it feels like it's a metal lid. The lid here is about two, three inches thick. Same thing with the walls. There does tend to be a, uh, a lot of insulation on this. And um, it is a metal, it's metal here on the inside. So if it does have water, uh, that'll build up if you're gonna, de if you're going to uh, kind of defrost it. It's not gonna, I guess the water, the water is not gonna corrode in here. And there's also a drain there at the bottom. If you do want to drain, you want to do a, uh, do a defrost. It's down there. Although I don't expect defrosting this for quite some time. You got your, uh, got your instruction manual there. Overall, um, I'll come back. I'll update once I get this figured out. Once we get some food in it, and I'll uh, I'll give you an I'll give you an update. But overall, out of the box, came undamaged. The build quality seems to be there. And um, again, it was packed well. It's easy enough to set up and use. Kind of wait and then just plug it in. Uh, overall, it's a good little buy. Hey, real quick, if you like what you see in this video and you want to purchase one for yourself, I've left links to everything here in the description. And if you want more no-nonsense, no BS product reviews, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and hit the, uh, hit the bell so you don't miss one.